just inaugurated and addressed a meeting of the Arab League's headquarters to appeal for the unity of Arab foreign ministers towards the French peace initiative. And to tell us more, our correspondent Monam Silhi joins us from the Arab League's headquarters. Mona. Yes, good evening to you, Nancy. A very good afternoon to you. Uh, could you please tell us about uh, some of the most um, prominent and important statements made by the Palestinian president? Right, but let me start first by telling you the uh, topics of the agenda of this uh, extraordinary meeting, because this is an extraordinary meeting that has been called by uh, the Palestinian uh, presidency. Uh, of course, this is the first uh, topic on the agenda, drawing up a united stance towards participation in the upcoming uh, French or Paris peace uh, conference. Uh, in his words, uh, of course, President uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas spoke about the importance of putting a united stance uh, or a united Arab stance in this conference, uh, hailing, of course, the uh, Egyptian initiative and the call for uh, holding or, or uh, starting a real uh, and concrete step towards uh, reaching uh, the two-state solution. Uh, he, of course, praised also the, uh, the French uh, initiative, but he also said that there is an obstacle which is reconciliation among the Palestinian uh, factions. Right. And he stated this as uh, an important uh, point uh, that uh, they really have to address. But uh, other than that, he uh, um, called for the Arabs to unite the front or to draw up their support behind the Palestinian uh, cause. This is uh, one item. The second item is uh, upon the request of the Libyan national uh, uh, government. Mm -hmm. uh, they have called for uh, a support from uh, the Arabs to uh, their efforts in reaching a, concili uh, 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 a conciliatory or, uh, uh, or reconciliation among all the Libyan factions in order to be able to function, the government itself to function. They also called for um, the international community support and any uh, initiative that could reconcile uh, all the Libyan parties involved uh, in uh, the uh, government. Right. Uh, also, uh, there is uh, the Yemeni development, and all the Arabs, of course, here have supported the uh, Kuwaiti initiative to uh, uh, host uh, um, a, nego a negotiating, uh, or rather peace negotiations in Kuwait mm -hmm. between all parties involved in Yemen. Other than that, it would be the agenda of the Arab, the upcoming Arab summit. Right. Uh, what I can tell you here is uh, about the uh, a statement that was said by Minister Samah Shukri. Uh, of course, he uh, spoke about the challenges facing the uh, region and said that Egypt will participate in the Paris uh, uh, Peace Conference and uh, would uh, admit, uh, submit its uh, initiative uh, and also called for the Arabs to support uh, mechanisms or support a united stand in order to reach mechanisms in order to reach uh, a real uh, and concrete solution or two-state solution. Right. Uh, also, he called for supporting the uh, Libyan national uh, um, government mm -hmm. and the Libyan army in particular because he said that one of the phenomena that is really threatening the whole region, rather the whole world is uh, terrorism and that it has, there has to be a strategy put not only by the Arab but a collective or a worldwide strategy in order to end this uh, phenomenon. Right. Uh, he also su uh, supported the other uh, issues but that was the most important issue. If I may say just that the, uh, it seems like uh, uh, when the uh, Arab League chief Nabil al-Arabi spoke, he spoke about the importance of uh, uh, calling for the implementation of the Arab initiative that was uh, drawn by Saudi Arabia and put uh, in Beirut summit. Right. Nancy. Do we know how the Arab delegations, the foreign ministers currently present, have reacted to the Palestinian president's call as well as the calls from Libya and Yemen for Arab support? Right. Uh, 
Uh, as for uh, the Palestinian cause, it's, uh, the Arabs are united and they are all drawing or, or they are putting their support behind the Palestinians and uh, the Palestinian delegation in their call for a fair and just uh, solution uh, to their cause. Right. And, of course, they have highlighted the policy of Israel, uh, which is very much stagnant and uh, uh, would lead to nowhere. Uh, mm -hmm. um, as for the Libyan uh, uh, issue, uh, also the Arab has supported uh, the uh, national uh, Libyan uh, government, and um, they are united also in this. As for Yemen, they have just put their support behind the Kuwaiti initiative in order to host right. uh, the uh, negotiation uh, summit. Do we know if, well, with regards to Libya, do we know if uh, there will be a united call for the lifting of an arms embargo by the United Nations uh, to allow weapons to reach the uh, nationally recognized, the internationally recognized government, rather? Well, according to uh, the UN uh, latest um, resolution, uh, which is uh, 2,200 uh, and, uh, I mean, the latest resolution, uh, mm -hmm. uh, anyway, regarding uh, Libya, uh, it is supposed to be a must for the international community to uh, raise the embargo or the weapons embargo, uh, particularly uh, for the, uh, on the, the Libyan government in order to be active and, and function. Right. And, and be able to confront this is what uh, Faiz Sarag, the uh, head of the National Council, has been calling for. Right, and I thank you very much. Monam Salhi, live there from the Arab League's headquarters here in Cairo. Thank you very much for that briefing. Now, continuing on with our top stories, the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar and the Chairman of the Muslim Sages Council, Sheikh Ahmed al tayyib called on Muslim and Arab ambassadors to rectify the image of Islam. This came during his visit to France, where